Davies. It is so good to be back on a motorcycle. But the reason why I'm on a motorcycle is because of this hot wired heated gear. So we went up to Cycle Gear and we talked to Kurt and the guys that work there. Awesome people to deal with. If you ever need anything, go up there to Cycle Gear. Awesome people. And I got some heated gloves and some heated pant liners. I've always had the jacket liner, but now I have the heated pants too to go with them. So we're gonna do a little test. Right now we're out here at, um, it is, I cannot use my phone. So I think it was 52 degrees when I left home and it's like three o'clock in the afternoon. So I've got, I don't know what is it, maybe an hour or so of riding left. Oh man, I got everything on high. And I'll tell you right now, I gotta turn it down. Turn these down though. Just like that, just a little. It's just a little click on the button right there on the top of the gloves. I do have some gripes already putting the gloves on for the first time. I, I tried them on at Cycle Gear, took the gloves off. My biggest gripe, Hot Wired, why you do this, I don't know, but I'm mad. The liners inside the gloves are not sewn to the fingers. So when you take them out, you pull the inside of the glove halfway out. So then when you go to put it on the next time, your fingers have to try to realign the liners inside the gloves. Come on. These things are $179. For $179, you guys can't sew the liners inside the gloves? Maybe there's a reason why they don't do it. Maybe they can't do it. I don't know, but that, that kind of makes me mad a little bit. It's frustrating when you're putting the gloves on and it's taking you 10 minutes to put them on because you're constantly trying to get them liners back into the holes. Another thing, and it is getting better because they are starting to loosen up a lot, but trying to reach for my blinkers was difficult earlier, but now it's getting better. The heated liner, I've done a review on that before. The heated liner is great. If you're gonna do one thing, because it's not it's not a cheap investment, you know, it's. It's, I think it's $189 for the liner. I think it's the same for the heated pants. Like I said, the gloves are like $179 or something like that, or $169 or something. But if you are a member of Revzilla and Cycle Gear, if you've got the whatever the heck it is, I'll put it, I'll put it here. You get a little bit of a discount on them, so that, that helps. Yeah, hot in here. Need to open up some vents. Whoo, this stuff works. Okay, first of all, big disclaimer. Yes, I have the windshield on because it's cold out. Okay, I still think the windshields are dumb. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, we can move on. And I put my soft lowers on, my crash bars. Those, those make a big difference as far as how much wind hits your legs and stuff that helps a lot and i noticed that when i rode when it was cold before i had the heated pants the tops of my legs would get really cold because obviously you know the wind is pretty much directed right onto the top of my pants from around the windshield and i mean like right there i can feel a lot of wind right there i can't and yeah so if i had probably the uh, the molded the hard lowers as they call them that would probably make a big difference too but i don't really like the looks of them i did see some chrome ones on on the amazon though yeah i'd like to have those that would be cool so that's another thing that's really nice about hot wired though is that i do have the push buttons on the the items themselves I think it's Gerber, I'm not sure. I think it's Gerber that you had to buy like a separate adjuster for them, controller. You don't need that with these. The controllers are on the items themselves. That's why I went with Hotwired. 
that and that's all cycle gear had and it's really nice to be able to go and try stuff on before you buy it next is the fitment um, as far as fitment goes I have a large pair of pants and I have an extra large liner and I have a large pair of gloves and everything fits pretty well I ain't gonna lie to you the jacket liner is a little tight in certain places but <laughs> they say you want it to be tied up against you so it is a little bit windy today and the winds kind of out of the northwest so now that I've turned north I do feel air a little bit more and I am a little bit chilly so I'm gonna start out with my pants liner I'm gonna turn that it's green if I push it again it goes to high if I push it again it'll go to low obviously or mid medium which is yellow if I push it again it goes back to green if I hold it down it shuts it off if I hold it down it'll turn it back on and it'll go to high so that's how, how that works but we're gonna go one more click to high one more click to medium and I instantly I instantly felt that on my thighs on the top of my legs so now I'm gonna go to my liner I'm on green one high I'm on yellow my hands are still good so I'm gonna leave those on green now my back's getting hot so I don't have the heated sock liners or anything but these Harley shoes that I have I bought these from Frontier Harley Davidson but when did I buy them they are the the bat Batman bat wing something shoes but my feet don't get cold in these and it's weird because my feet don't get hot in them either they're waterproof even and in the summertime I can wear them and they're fine it's I don't know it's weird maybe it's because I got the soft lowers on now and the winds not hitting them and my feet are fine I mean the, the big thing is keeping your core warm right because once you keep your core warm then that blood goes to your extremities you know and stuff and helps a lot and the nice thing is is you're not like I used to wear sweatpants underneath my, my jeans right to keep myself warm and now with just these liners under here which they feel kind of like snow pants but <laughs> they're still thin you know they're really thin they just they're like poofy you know like they get air in them and they poof out type thing you know um, but I'm not wearing as much I feel like I'm still limber I've got my leather jacket on which I don't really like wearing leather but this jacket's pretty good the leather's really soft so I can still really move around and my fingers are starting to move easier with the gloves getting broke in and my hand my gloves are on low which you can see it's green and my hands are getting hot <laughs> so I might have to shut them off here in a little bit too but that's like a testament to the to the gear right if you I mean if it warms you up enough where you got to shut it off I think it's probably doing a pretty good job you know so the things you need if you're gonna do okay so each article of clothing the gloves the the pant liners the jacket liner they all come with the same stuff except for the gloves they come with a, a two-way plug thing where you can run the uh, where you can run the, the wires down your jacket if you need to but they also come with the the piece that plugs into your battery which is this right here which all your stuff plugs into so your jacket liner at the end has a zipper that opens up and wires that come out where you can plug your gloves into them so that's super cool you don't need anything for that the only thing you do need to buy separate is you need to buy a splitter to come off of your power supply from your bike and one of them's got to go to your your jacket liner and one of them's got to go to your pant liner and that's the only really thing that you need and that's that's cheap that's like 7.99 or something like that I don't remember. it's less than 10 bucks yeah the gloves they're leather and then they've got the the felt here and they got the felt here and then they've got the accordion liner you know stuff here and it's got reflective stitching throughout they're they're nice they're well-made gloves like I said the only complaint that I have about all of this stuff are these gloves 
because the liners are not sewn to the tips of the fingers so you can pull them out. It's the only complaint that I have. And for that much money, I'm sorry, but it should, it should, uh, it should be sewn in there. So Amy also has the same stuff now. She has the heated pants, the heated jacket liner, and the heated gloves. She actually had it all before I did. Because I wanted her to have it, you know, because she gets cold really easy. I need to do some, I need to do some, some damage control up here at my favorite spot. Here's some more motor cackles. What's up, dudes? All right, Amy, watch me. I'm going to reach down before I get off the bike, and I'm going to unplug it. So when I get off the bike, I'm not still connected to it. That's my plug for my liners. I put it out there. Okay, let's see if I can get these gloves off. I have straps up on the top. And then you got to try to really get a hold of that liner in there see if you can get your fingers out of it <laughs> I don't know if that worked or not and then it's connected to my liner on the inside with this cord here now if I can do the same thing with this side <laughs> just grab them like that hopefully and there we go just like that Oh man, it's cold out here now. My hands are red from being warm right there. That's cool. I dig that. If you guys want a sticker, email Miss Stevie at MissStevieFo at gmail.com and she will send you one for free. So guys, I'm going to end the video here. The heated liners are, are awesome. They're great. The heated gloves. The heated gloves are, are the ball. But if you're only going to buy one, the heated jacket liner is the way to go. But the heated pants, man, they're awesome. They got a great big flap that sticks out for your controller. The liner has a controller. Your gloves have separate controllers, and that's, that's key. That's awesome. So I'm going to end the video here. I'm going to enjoy my ride home with some music. But everybody, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more stuff like this, subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you know when we load up next. And until next time, everybody stay cool. And we will see you on the road. More bike is coming. Maybe they'll get all over it. Nope.